Hey everyone, welcome to another lit tutorial. Um, sorry I've been MIA for a little bit here. Life's been pretty busy for me and I've recently gotten back into uh, FPV, which is first person view flying. It's basically flying drones um, in first person with the goggles on. It's really cool. Um, I've been doing it for eight years and I stopped for a little bit, but I'm getting back into it again. So maybe I'll make a video of that in the future. Uh, some stuff that's not related to laser cutting. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But anyways, uh, today I'll show you all how I create my laser illusions technology style hand stamps um, from beginning to end. First part will be um, creating the rubber stamp itself and then the second part will create the base for the stamp made out of acrylic. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is load an image to Lightburn. I found this turtle thing online and we'll use that for the example today but you can pretty much use whatever image or design you want. You right click the image, select the image, right click, trace image, make it bigger. Let's fade the image so that we can see the tracing better. And we will just choose the turtle. That's okay. Zoom in a little bit and adjust your threshold until you get a good uh, a tracing. That's good enough for me. Set your cutoff to zero. Press OK. Drag that out. Um, we need to change it to a uh, fill layer. So my fill layer is blue. So we'll change it to the blue layer. Um, Alt P to preview. Like the black part will be the engraved part. Um, this is good if we're going to be using wood, for example, and it's ready to go. But if we want to prepare it for rubber engraving, like what we're going to do today um, to make the stamp, we want to engrave the white areas instead of the black areas. And we leave the black areas alone since this is where the ink will go. Uh, to do that, we need to create a border around our tracing in the same fill layer in order to invert the image. This border will also be used as uh, the shape of our stamp. You can choose whatever shape you want, but today we'll we'll make it into a circle. Press OK. Choose the ellipse tool. Create a circle. Um, we want to create like a perfect circle, so we want it, the height and the width to be the same. So uh, unlock the aspect ratio and just put any arbitrary number here, three and three, for example but make sure the width and height are the same. Press enter. And, oops. And then make it so that it goes around the uh, your tracing. Not too big and not too small. Just enough so it uh, goes all the way around your tracing. Make it a little bit smaller. That's good. Okay. You can lock the aspect ratio. Now we choose the tracing and the circle and choose this uh, icon here to align both the vertical and horizontal planes. Okay. Um, and then we can Alt P to preview. Now it's inverted inverted so the black part will be engraved and the white part will stay the same so the white part will be um, where the ink will go um, yeah press ok and um, there are some shapes in this design if we go back into the preview that are pretty thin so what we need to do is add uh, some ramp length to this um, to this design so that it will reinforce the thin shapes you don't need to do this if like the shapes in your design are really thick you can still do it I prefer to do it either way but if you have thin shapes like this um, it's good to do it to um, make sure that those shapes are not flimsy when you're stamping and you'll get a better uh, stamp quality to do that you Go to your fill layer, 
double click go to advance and on the ramp length here you have to increase that value if you increase the value the more you increase it the more material will be left around the individual shapes since the ramp will be larger if you have very thin bodies in your design you might need to bump it up a bit higher but if you have thicker shapes then just bump it up enough until you see a little bit of ramp on each shape when you do the preview we'll uh, set this to 0 0.0197 and we'll preview it Alt P once we have ramps it, it's slower to rasterize you just have to wait it out if you zoom in you'll actually see the ramp which is the dark black parts that's good press OK <clears throat> now we need to set the power right click on your layer again since we're using ramps uh, we need to have variable power so set your set your min power to zero and your max power will be dependent <clears throat> on your power of your laser obviously the lower powered machines will have higher max power percent settings to achieve the same results as a higher powered machine if you're running the same speed I'm using a 50 watt homemade laser so I found that 45 percent at 150 millimeters per second is uh, the perfect setting for me and I leave my LPI to 508 and my line interval to 0 0.05 okay press ok now what we need to do is cut this out after engraving it to do that we select the circle and we need to offset that circle either inward or outward if you select the direction to be outward um, you will leave a border around your design and this will show up on the stamp if you set it to inward uh, you won't have a border um, I don't want a border on my stamp so what I'll do is set it to inward and I don't need that much of an offset distance maybe 0 0.02 is good let's do 0 0.03 yeah and then make sure delete original objects is turned off and corner style is around in this case press OK now it selected the circle the offset circle we just made we need to put that in a line layer so it'll be cut so in this case red is my line layer and set max and min power to the same percentage and your speed is all dependent on your laser cutter for me 10 millimeters per second and 55 percent is uh, works great to cut the uh, to cut through uh, the rubber now once you have that we have to change the size of the stamp we want to create a two inch stamp so what you do is you select everything and then you make sure that the aspect ratio is locked and we set either the width or the height to two so it will create it into two inches we can delete this image here and then what you need to do is you have this two inch stamp here we have to mirror the image in order to get the correct orientation when you stamp it on a piece of paper or something like that once you mirror the image it's pretty much ready to go you send it to your laser load your rubber in and uh, engrave and cut Okay, once we have the rubber stamp ready to go, we need to create the base and the grip. Uh, the base will be where the rubber stamp will be glued to. 
uh, the grip is where we hold the stamp and the spacers will be to uh, space out the base and the grip it'll be placed in between the grip and the base layer we'll work on the base first for the base it's going to be made out of three millimeters clear acry acrylic it doesn't matter if you have extruded or uh, cast acrylic uh, it both will work fine for this purpose what we want is for it to be a little bit larger than the size of a rubber stamp so the size of a rubber stamp is this red line right here what we want to do is control C to copy that red line and control V to paste it and we will change that into a different layer different cut layer so we'll do layer 6 for that in order to adjust the um, the power and speed settings since it'll be different for the rubber and the three millimeters acrylic <clears throat> so we'll put that on uh, layer 6 we'll adjust that speed and power uh, in order for it to cut through the three millimeters acrylic this is okay for me 10 millimeters per second at 40 percent uh, cuts through the three millimeter acrylic no problem on my particular uh, machine and then we want it to be slightly larger than our rubber stamp so what we want to do is offset it outwards so click on offset direction is outwards we'll set it to 0 0.05 let's see what that looks like yeah that's okay so it'll be a little bit larger and we want to delete the original object so turn this on and corner cell is round press OK for grip layer number one and two it depends uh, what you prefer to have a smaller gripper or a larger gripper for me I prefer a larger grip so um, I can put more force uh, when I'm stamping so what I do is control C and control V that base uh, layer put it on grip layer number one and also offset shape again 2.05 so it'll be slightly larger than the base layer and we want to delete the original object and direction is outward again press OK we will keep it in layer number six which is this blue layer since it's also three millimeters black acrylic this will be placed behind the four millimeters merit acrylic in order for the design to be shown better since this merit acrylic is pretty much the preview for the stamp for grip layer number two which is the merit acrylic four millimeters we want to copy grip layer number one and paste it. It should be the same size as uh, grip layer number one. But we will change this into a different uh, layer number since it's thicker acrylic and needs more power. So we'll put that to layer number seven and we will set min and max power to the same percentage but higher. So 50% at 10 millimeters per second. Okay. We also want to put our design inside here. What you do is copy and paste the design and center it into the circle here. So you select both shapes and click the center in horizontal and vertical directions. We don't need to mirror the design again since this is mirrored acrylic and we will flip the acrylic once it's engraved. So we keep it as is we do need to change layer for this design since we're not going to be using the same power settings as the rubber stamp um, we'll put that into the zero zero layer which is the black fill layer 200 millimeters per second at 14 percent is perfect for my laser cutter to engrave on merit acrylic and 0.05 for the line interval and the LPI is 508 press OK and we want to make the fill layer before uh, layer number 7 because we want 
uh, the uh, laser to engrave the design first and then cut out the shape. So grip layer number two is completed. Now we need some spacers. For the spacers, just copy and paste the va base. Copy, paste the base right here. And we want it to be actually smaller in diameter than both our grip layer and our base layers. And this spacers will um, create a space between these two. So we want to offset that a uh, little larger than that. Oops. And we want to offset it inwards. Maybe a bit more. That's okay. And delete original objects. Okay. And we want two of these because we want enough space between the grip and the base. Uh, if there's not enough space between the grip and the uh, base, it'll be hard to actually grip the stamp. So we want to actually go here to the array. And we want to create two instances of this. And our spacing is okay. Maybe a bit closer. It should be okay. Press OK. And this is 3 millimeters clear acrylic, so we can keep it in layer number 6, which is uh, the same. It's the same material as the base. Okay, once this is done, you send it off to your laser, cut it out, and then we'll assemble it. Okay, now that we have everything engraved and cut, it's time to assemble everything together. We have here the rubber stamp, and here is the base, which is 3mm clear acrylic. We have here the grip, which is the 3mm black acrylic, which is the first layer of the grip. And the second layer of the grip is a 4mm mirrored acrylic. On the other side is where we engraved it and we'll flip it to show the design. And finally we have two pieces of the spacers. First step is to glue the spacers together just like so. And we will be using CA glue and activator. Make sure to put the glue in the middle and not too much as well since uh, it bonds really strong. And also, we don't want the glue to be um, squeezing out from the sides because the sides will look ugly if that happens. So we will glue the two spacers together and we will glue the rubber stamp on top of the 3 millimeter acrylic base like that. Once that's glued, we have to put the spacer in between in the middle and then we will glue the mirrored acrylic on top of the black acrylic in order for the um, design to be shown more clearly with a back with a with a black background and once this is glued together we glue this on top of the spacer And also one thing to note is the orientation of your stamp. So you want your stamp orientation to be the same orientation as your preview here. Uh, what you can do is um, set your orientation and put it face down 
and just remember how you orient your stamp and match that with your mirrored acrylic and glue it on top of the spacer. Once everything is glued together, it should look like this. So the stamp is in the same orientation as your uh, preview here. And your preview should look pretty black. If it's not black enough for you, then what you can do is uh, actually paint the back of the mirrored acrylic so it'll even be darker. Or if you don't have uh, black acrylic, you can use um, the see-through acrylic, but just paint the back of the mirror. You can put some ink on here and let's try it out. Okay, we have our ink here. The secret is to just dab it uh, over and over again until you have full coverage on your stamp. Don't slide it across because uh, it won't produce really nice uh, results that way. So just dab it over and over again. Once you have enough ink on there, um, put it on your paper and apply even pressure throughout. And you should have a really nice stamp. There you go. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions just send me a DM on my Facebook or my Instagram or on YouTube just uh, leave a comment down below and please let me know what kind of content you guys want to see next and what kind of tutorials you guys want to learn and see. Um, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.